the debate on the proposed bills on social media regulations and hate speech prohibition continues, experts drawn from both the media and the academia converged on Lagos during the week to review the two controversial propositions by the legislature, particularly how it may affect media practice in the country. According to the lawmakers sponsoring the bills, Nigeria needs the two laws at a time like this to help advert danger posed by the uncontrolled use of the social media and the threat of the spread of hate speech. The bill on hate speech specifically prescribes death by hanging for any person found guilty of any form of pronouncement which results in the death of another person. This particularly has generated a chain of reaction with majority of Nigerians kicking against it. Last week, a group of activists embarked on a protest at the National Assembly to express displeasure over the bills. But these events, put together by both the African Foundation for Young Media Professionals and the African Center for Media and Intercultural Dialogue, brought the issues thrown up by the two bills to the table, especially as they affect media practice. A panel of discussions, including Dr. Suraj Olunifesi of the University of Lagos, Tunde Abaton, editor of the New Dawn online newspaper, and Martins Oloja, editorial board member of the Guardian newspaper, took a critical look at the proposed laws. I want to look at that hate speech. We look at that having a commissioner in the whole country is a waste of time, it's a waste of money. It's like reinventing the wheel in a, in a country where we are borrowing money to, to, to finance our the current expenditures. We don't need such a bill. And such a bill is a distraction, it's a waste of time. And we are equally seeing that these people that are coming out with, with such bill, they don't have representation from their people. So the people that are giving that kind of, are they, are they have a kind of note? Did they are constantly give them note to go and give this kind of speech? So you can't, don't just come to a, a place like that and come a, a national assembly and come out with a bill that does not have the backing of the government. And then also, I think that we don't need it. It's needless, it's not needful. Then again, we look at social media bill that it will gag the people. In a case where you say that anything that you must not do, you must not say anything that is against, that will fed the government. That is making the government to have superpower. That means that anything you say can be misinterpreted. So I think that you cannot criticize government, you cannot let out your hunger. The, it's, it's, um, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, unimaginably dangerous. If we allow them to push us into a place where we begin to struggle to say what we need to say, then the Nigerian society has lost what it's known for, which is our society is egalitarian. We are a people that are expressive. And they don't even respect the constitution, which provides for federal character, that there should be reflection of federal character in appointments. They don't reflect them. That's what, these are the issues that make people to be angry. These are the issues they should address. That should be self-introspection. They should have retreat and look at where they themselves have gone wrong, where they need to conquer themselves before talking about hate speech. We don't need it. Social media, you can regulate social media like that. We know about irresponsibility. This is a global concern that social media, they, you know, they, 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 they spread fake news, but they still need it. The, the president of the most uh, powerful nation on earth uses Twitter every morning to announce his own policies, to announce even appointments. What is it? Social media is an idea whose time has come. There's nothing we can do about it. Meanwhile, Governor Aminu Tambua of Sokoto State urged the media to remain vigilant, educate and mobilize Nigerians to defend the country's art and democracy. On his part, a former editor of the Daily Times newspaper, who was also a governor in Ogun State, Aremo Olushegun Oshoba, appealed to the Nigerian Guild of Editors to struggle and fight against the hate speech bill. As the debate continues, will the National Assembly have its way to pass the bills into law, or will those against it have the last laugh? Time will tell. <laughs>